Okay, in my last video, I established that I used to work at a top secret facility, the Starfire Optical Range. And I told you all that it was located about eight miles off Kirtland Air Force Base. As you can see, there's an aerial view from Google Docs, Google Earth. As you can see, it's pretty close to the mountains. So you can't see anything at night. It's pretty dark out there. And as I pan to the left, you can see that's Kirtland Air Force Base. Right here. Then I will drive off of the base down the desolate road about 8 to 10 miles and they used to do a lot of experiments out there as you can see there's something out there right now going on and uh, there's the Star Optical Range. And there are the mountains and you can't see anything over the mountains. Now, some people said there's missiles in those mountains. I heard that as well. I don't know for sure. But the majority of the people that live in Albuquerque, now Albuquerque is a pretty big city. Look how big it is. I'm just going to show you briefly how big Albuquerque is. There's a lot of people that live in Albuquerque. In my time there, I would tell them that I used to work at the Star for Optical Range and nobody knew what it was, nobody ever heard of it. And uh, like I said, look, there's a lot of people, there's tons and tons of people. I think like a million people live there right now. And uh, I bet you the majority of those people have no idea that that base or that facility is out there. You can ask a whole bunch of people that have never heard of it. They've never seen the lasers. So just a little sample as how big Albuquerque is. And uh, nobody really knew about that place when I worked there. That was 20 years ago. And it's kind of hidden. Never really spoke too much about it. But uh, I'm going to tell you the story, the one story that I do know about Air 51. So I'm going to take you to Air 51 right now on Google Earth. Just so you can see for yourself how top secret this stuff is. So that's Rachel, the little town that's right outside Air 51. Now, as you can see, Google Earth is not allowed to show Area 51. So you will just see these green dots. Now, let me tell you the story. My buddy that worked at the Star for Optical Range, obviously I'm not going to mention his name, said that in the late 80s, he ended up at Area 51. And he went into one of these warehouses and uh, he saw what appeared to be a large metallic, uh, like a big freezer type of building in this warehouse. And he saw a lot of people working and he saw a line of military personnel with machine guns ready to fire if you got anywhere near them and he thought <clears throat> it was the most unbelievable thing he'd ever seen because 
Why did it need so much security? And why would you have a freezer? Or well, he thought it was a freezer in the middle of a desert. I mean, what's the object of that? What's the point? Um, so for many years, he said, I always wondered what they kept out there. You know, did they really get those aliens from Roswell? And why are they so secretive about this? You know, I don't know. But uh, maybe they are hiding things from us. And if you do plan to go out there at air, uh, Raid Area 51, please be careful. Please be careful. To all my fellow Americans, be safe. And don't forget to subscribe to Ibarra's Mind. Be safe. Well, what you waiting for? A punch, a subscribe button, okay?